All right, so to the left, we have the TCLR635. To the right, we have the Samsung Q8FN, my personal champion. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be biased, but I'm gonna show you the difference between the absolute top from a couple years ago to what they're trying to pass off as a quality QLED today. And the reason I'm doing this is to show just how far we've fallen because there are not enough people doing what I'm doing, which is calling out these flaws. We are going backwards, not forward, and I'm going to prove it. The Samsung Q8FN is a full array local dimming TV from 2018, ladies and gentlemen. But watch this. When I go over to this brand new, hot new TCL, look at all that blooming, right? Look at all that blooming, that haloing around her. It is not pretty, right? Now let's go over to that full array local dimming TV from years ago. Look at that. Not going to see any of that. There, there is none of that blooming. There is none of it. And, and that's my point. Skin tones are rich. It's a beautiful looking screen. I mean, look at that. <laughs> the difference is mind blowing. And I was at first doing this kind of like as a novel thing just for me to kind of see, but I needed you guys to see that. Now sitting back here, you won't see just how bad it really is. Now I've decided to pump up the TCL so that it can compete with the brightness. Otherwise, if I had it dialed in the way I had it before, wherein I was competing against the Hisense, it was a slaughter and you guys would have thought it was a complete cooked comparison. So I had to do it this way. Check that out. Look at the skin tonalities. I mean, look, Hisense maybe had something going for it, but when you go and talk about the level of the Q8FN with the level of brightness it has, it's a whole other level of color volume and clarity. I mean, my God, look at that picture. Now, my camera can't even keep up, it's so bright. Now, it's keeping up well with this uh, TCL, and the TCL is holding its own and throwing punches, that it is. But I'm telling you right now, it's not doing it like this, and it's so hard because I, I really can't show this on camera the best I want to. In typical fashion, look at all that banding on the TCL. I don't even think I have to go too close for you guys to see that. And look at the Samsung Q8FN from years prior. This is again, not supposed to be happening. Guess the Samsung Q8FN is more expensive and some might think this is unfair, but we're talking about QLEDs, apples to apples, and I'm showing you the differences here. Now her face might look a little overexposed or oversaturated or whatever the case may be, but as you see, as I focus on just this one TV, I can even get up closer and go over to it. There we go. You'll see that uh, she has all the pink in her cheeks and everything like that. So don't feel like she doesn't, because I know you might see it here, but believe me, the Q8FN has everything that this TV has and more, but it's just a really bright, glorious display. Now I've had to turn down my ISO considerably so you can see the difference in what I was talking about. Notice how there is more of an olive tint to her skin on the Q8FN to the right versus the TCL to the left where she literally just looks like pale and washed out. Now look, I'm gonna go even closer so you can see the differences. This is what her skin tonality looks like on the Samsung Q8FN. This is what her skin tone looks like on the TCL. Don't know how much of this is going to come through. I really don't. But this is what she looks like here, and this is what she looks like here. More of an olive skin tone, which is more representative, representative of what you see on an Asian person. Now, of course, when I sit all the way back here, the ISO goes crazy, so, you know, I can't do much but drop it down so you can see, but even still, it's a dramatic difference. I noticed that a lot of people love using this demo lately, so I wanted to show this off. I mean, look at the differences between these two. Uh, it's brightening up incredibly high, but I'm gonna show you, I mean, like, it's not even close. Like, the Q8 is so bright, my phone literally can't even keep up with it. And I'm telling you right now, I mean, the level of depth that just sucks you into this TV is ridiculous. And then here we have the TCL. It's still doing good, and it has a really nice picture as well. So again, it's not a total loss for TCL, but when you compare it, I mean, it, it lacks the color volume. Look at the mouth. Look at how much more vibrant it is here. Look at the shades of blue here, bioluminescent almost, with how beautiful and pure it is. Now, a lot of people call that just way oversaturated, cartoony, and garish, but there is a distinct amount of color that you are not getting, like that yellow in between those shades of green. That is unlocked at better shades. And of course, this is a budget TV for 650 bucks. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but it does come a lot closer than some would like to admit. And that's something also to note here. Now, when we look at in-game content, again, seeing how the Q8FN handles itself for those who own this TV and have been asking me, how will this hold up against newer TVs? Check this out. Now, this is just gonna get really bright here, but 
I'm gonna try to show you guys. I mean, it, it, it holds up incredibly well. For everyone that bought that TV off of my recommendation, you are one of the lucky few people now in 2020 that own one of the best, if not the best QLED televisions from Samsung ever made. Now, TCL doing what they can to, to try to stay in the game here, but honestly speaking, it's that extra sauce here. Now, this is dark, it's gonna look really crappy, so I'm just gonna move on from here. But what I can tell you and show you is that you know, the mini LED technology tries to pose itself as being so much better than full array local dimming, but here is a 2018 QLED with full array local dimming that not only has better black levels, which it does, it also has just tons more brightness, clarity, and it's performing at a better level. Now, they're trying to hype up these mini LEDs, and I'm trying to kind of remove the veil from your eyes because there's a lot that, that goes wrong with an under-optimized television. And I want TCL to hear these videos and to perform at a higher level so that they can really make this television market competitive and everybody wins that way. So that's the real reason why I'm showing all this off, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Now, personally, I love this demonstration. This is a fire demo on uh, Jacob and Katie Swartz's YouTube channel. And I wanna show you guys this, okay? So a lot of people think I'm artificially producing the clouding that I have. Uh, as a gentleman is pointing out on YouTube, uh, I don't do that, but I'm gonna show you guys either way. Look, check this out. These are mini LEDs. This is their hot new thing. There's clouding in the window. There's clouding over here on the side. Mini LED, thousands of LEDs, uh, hundreds of zones, right? That's their, that's their claim that they wanna make whatever they wanna say. Okay, now look at my full array local dimming TV from 2018, okay? No clouding in the window. No, no clouding at all anywhere. And then we look at the TCL and look at it light up like a Christmas tree. And I'll go at an angle as well, just so you can see apples to apples. Look how much worse the TCL is down there. Look, we'll go at an extreme angle, just so you guys can see at an angle, there is no clouding. And I need you guys to see this in real time because there are people that are not gonna be straight with you about this. And again, I tell you guys this type of stuff because like I say, I have degenerative cervical nerve damage and I know what it's like to have a health limitation and somebody to try to trick you or try to manipulate you into a sale. And then now you've got to tax your health to box something up, lug it back down the stairs and do this all over again and hope you get lucky. So again, it's another reason why I'm exposing this mini LED sham or at least under optimization from TCL. Now, don't mishear this though. TCL absolutely has astronomical contrast as I'm seeing now in this particular scene in a Jacob and Katie Schwartz demo. Okay, so again, it is a good TV for what it is doing, but when you get to those black levels, which is the reason people are even excited about mini LED, it's supposed to be a replacement or as close to that as we can get to OLED, uh, and, and it's not close. The viewing angles are bad. The black levels are worse than the full array as you guys are seeing off at an angle. And you know, yeah, the bright scenes look amazing, but we already have that right now. We have TVs that can make these really bright scenes look highly contrasted and really amazing. We need those black levels buttoned up. Again, take a look at what I'm talking about. To the left is the mini LED monster. This is the next latest greatest tech that everybody's talking about. Well, look how it performs in a dark room. Okay, we're looking at a 2018 full array television. Look how it performs in a dark room. I'm not doing anything to the ISO. I'm gonna wrap around here, step off at an angle, and you can see the TCL just looks worse all around. And, and that's not supposed to happen with these mini LEDs. But what's going on is we're at a point where people don't know a whole lot about mini LED and the technology is brand new and they know that. And they can manipulate a lot of people because of that. Now, I want you to watch these brightness changes as I'm opening up my ISO here. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but man, that TCL is like super duper bright. Whereas the Q8FN is staying ultra inky, ultra dark and ultra deep. Now I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm kind of cheating here and letting TCL kind of have a little bit of an advantage because in my picture settings, I decided to turn, now look at, you do have some local dimming crushing down here, as you guys see on the Q8FN. So that is something that is happening. But at the end of the day, I would rather it crush it down in this particular mode than to have the brightness and then look like this. Because you see what I mean? There's a huge difference. Yeah, sure, I don't have as many stars right now, but look at what happens when we step off at an angle. 
And there's a reason why they did it this way. And I know a lot of the reviewers back in this time period were bashing Samsung for this, but I needed to show this off because mini LED is supposed to be so great. And this is what it's looking like for me. So that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in Odyssey. What do you think about this? Drop your comments down below. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.